Okay, uh, in this video we want to integrate dx divided by x minus x to the two-thirds power. And the trick here was to introduce a variable z that equals x to the one-third power. And the reason for uh, trying out the substitution is that this would be z cubed minus z squared. Then when we take our dx, we might get another z up here, and some of these z's might cancel them, maybe giving us a fairly simple problem to work with. So that was the idea behind it. Um, so if z equals x to the one-third, that's z cubed minus z squared, and now dz equals one-third x to the minus two-thirds dx. And what we want to do is replace dx so that it involves the variable z. So multiply both sides by this, and we have three x to the two-thirds dz equals dx. But x to the two-thirds, that's z squared. So this is three times z squared. So now our integral is dx, three z squared dz, divided by z cubed minus z squared. Divide everything by z squared, and this will equal 3. The integral of well, this will just be 1, so I'll have dz divided by, divided by z squared, that would be z minus 1. And there it is. This just equals 3 times the natural log of z minus 1. And what is z? It's this. So we're going to say the integral of dx divided by x minus x to the two-thirds equals 3 times the natural log of z that was x to the one-third minus one plus an arbitrary constant. So that one worked out real fast. Um, we've got some time left over. Let's see if we can prove that this is the right answer. So if we take the differential of this side of the equation, it should give us what we have inside of the interval sign. So we want to take the differential of 3 times the natural log of x to the one-third minus 1, and that's the differential of that is going to be 0. So this will equal 3 divided by this. So we have 3 divided by x to the one-third power minus 1 times the derivative of this, and that's going to be one-third x to the minus two-thirds dx. So we have x to the minus two-thirds dx divided by x to the one-third minus one. And let's divide everything by x to the minus two-thirds. That will equal dx. And then down here we have x to the one-third divided by x to the minus two-thirds 
minus 1 divided by x to the minus 2 thirds. And this will equal dx x to the 1 third divided by x to the minus 2 thirds would be 1 third plus 2 thirds or that would be x minus and this would be x to the plus 2 thirds and this is what we had in the integral sign so we did prove that this indeed is the correct solution to that integral. So that's it. There's no more to say about it for this problem. Um, we have one more left in this series of integrating when you have rational functions in the integral sign. The next one might be a little bit more of a challenge for us.